What's happening, YouTube? This video is a recording from my baby girl, Elle, who is about to be born. We go into the hospital tonight at 9 o'clock. I'm just going to record what it's like the day of your child's birth, if she comes tonight when we get there. I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that a lot of people send us. Some of my YouTube subscribers, Muchella, Buzz, Mike, Willie, have all sent things here. I'm possibly going to be going to talk to Elle's auntie and uncle today before we go. And I'm going to show you what it's like in this house, man. I woke up at the crack of dawn. Nerves is all over the place. So I'm going to go in this gym. We put in a gym, Elle, because of Rona and because we knew you was coming. And we would have a hard time getting out the house. So Elle Bell, you have been my dream for 40 years. You're almost here. And I'm going to just take everybody around the house and just kind of see how we prepared and what we're ready to do for your dare birth. Let's go walk around real quick. We got a nice home gym put together just for you, Elle. Look at that. So that when it's time to handle you, we don't got to leave the house. I'm getting ready to come in here, get my last workout in before we go to the hospital to handle our business. Let's go see what your sleeping beauty mom is doing. There's your mother, Elle. Right now, you're still inside her body. Marinating, ready to come out. Uh-oh, you done woke her up. But for those that want to know, we've got the bassinet all ready to go, all set up. Crystal's got her bag packed. See it down there. And I got my bag packed. We ready to get up in there. And this right here is L's changing station. And look at what we got underneath here to make this thing easy. Shouts out to everybody that sent us something. We got pampers, wipes, um, little changing bag, lotion for the baby. Everything in there is ready to go. Crystal's cousin sent us this beautiful, beautiful little elephant. And we have this diaper genie. Everybody, they say you need to have one of those. Then we get to the living room. We got the pack and play ready. Shouts out to our homegirl, Muchella, who got us this swing right here. Fan of the channel, grandmother herself, got us this swing. Then we got this right here, and I don't forgot who got us this, but man, if you're watching this video, we are very grateful. And this is going to eventually be Elle Bell's room. We didn't put too many decorations in here. We're going to kind of let her have a say in the decorations, but here's all the rest of the gifts. This is from Elle Bell's Uncle Mike. If you're in the Burlington area, you need your car worked on, go to Garden Road Automotive. All this stuff in here is for Elle, Bell, my baby. There's our car seat. I got to load that thing up tonight. Some more stuff down there. And then her closet. This chick's got everything. This chick got more closets than the housewife. Look at all this stuff in here, man. Look at that. Spoiled rotten. Ain't even got here yet. Everything you can think of. Stuff on top of stuff. I'm about to go get my workout in. Like I said, this is about 6.58 in the morning. I'm going to get the workout in to try to calm my nerves. And then we'll get back to this day vlog in a little bit. Hey, Elle. It's your birthday vlog. And I'm standing here with your Auntie Cole. Who wants to say something about childbirth and what it's going to be like when she meets you. So let me tell you about your Auntie Cole, number one. I'm going to make you watch this show called 227. And when you watch the show 227, there's going to be a character up there named Jack A. On the show, her name is Sonya. Your Auntie Cole is just like that. But she gave you an outstanding gift for your birth. And I'm going to show you your Auntie Cole. There's your Auntie Cole. Say hey, Auntie Cole. Hi, Elle. So, Auntie Cole... I've been telling everybody that'll believe me, I'm not going to spoil this child. You happen to be the only one who believes that story. Uh, no, no, I don't. I, I believe, I've seen, I've witnessed many 
men go from not having any daughters to having daughters and especially having a first time daughter and uh, I understand your thought process but that's not going to happen <laughs> all of the things that I've heard you say all of the things that I've heard you say you will not or you won't do uh, yeah they're, they're good in theory they're just not good in practice so CL that's why I say that's your auntie Sonya Jack A. Cole now on this day of birth I'm just doing a vlog of all the people that would be special in this girl's life. What do you wish for Elle as a young growing child? Um, well, first of all, welcome Elle. Um, what do I wish? I wish love, unconditional love, um, and for all of the special talents that you have to be nurtured and flourish throughout. Um, I'm not a mother myself um, not a journey I would not sure if I would choose to take however I am excited for your journey I am excited to meet you I am excited to get to know a another small human being it's been 20 years since I've met someone little that I got to watch grow and develop and show their special gifts to the world so I'm looking forward to that again that's right, L. We got to treat her well because she's got money and she'll spend it. So we're going to have to keep that Auntie Cole close. Uncle James and Auntie Tail, you will see a whole lot of them. They'll be involved in your life throughout your whole entire life. And if you become too much of a home invader, you might be living with them. And as far as just having a baby, I would say, or, you know, when she's a baby, she's not, you're not going to remember anything that's going on in the next few months. But you're going to know if you're in a family that laughs, that loves each other, that feels safe. And that's the advice I'd give to anybody is make sure your baby knows they're in a home that laughs and is happy. Yeah. And you're going to have a lot of interrupted sleep. Because <laughs> babies, they sleep a lot, but it's not straight. So you're going to have... Um, a very disjointed schedule and yep. become a friend of taking naps when you can and just we wish crystal all the best and yes. the beginning journey with a newborn is hard when you're first getting started because babies don't know what they're doing and new moms don't know what they're doing but it's okay you guys will make it through yeah, I had be no awesome. idea. Mm -hmm. and, and l um i know your dad i know your mom and they have a sense of humor and you're going to do something really bad and it may seem like they're mad but deep down inside they love you to death and they probably thought it was funny. They weren't happy about it, <laughs> but they probably thought it was funny. Um, I know our kids have destroyed some expensive stuff, and we wish they hadn't, but we love them and we understand, and your dad and your mom love you. So take it easy on them, but just know that no matter what happens, they adore you. Okay, uh, Al, uh, let, let me say something in regard to what he just said. Yeah, we love you, you little home invader. But when you start acting like that, we're going to lay down the discipline. The only person in the world that believes that I am going to be a dad with an iron fist is your Uncle James. Isn't that right? Uncle oh, James. no, you're not going to She's not going to get away with a thing. I'm sorry. I, I may have given you the wrong idea. You're not getting away with a thing. That's right. But no matter what he says and does, he loves you. Exactly. And that's why he's telling you that. Exactly. So... I, I have no fears about your parents raising you right. <laughs> Even when you question it, I'm not. I haven't met you yet, but I don't question that your parents are going to raise you right. And it's not always going to feel that way, but it is. It absolutely is. All right, Elle, it's your daddy again. This is the day of birth. This is the last person on this tour. It is Godmother Angela. Mm -hmm. Baby L, cannot wait to meet you. You are already the luckiest little girl and you've got so much love ready for you and you've got some great parents. So you're a great start and we got we cannot wait to meet you and see you and you be easy on your mama coming. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, hope you're just happy and healthy and I know you're just gonna be so loved. Yep. And the last thing I'm gonna say L is, I keep telling people, I'm not gonna spoil you. You're not gonna be wrapped around my finger and your godmommy Angela believes that. So we'll get her saying, so, uh -huh. Angela. Biggest you... joke ever. 
<laughs> You're already spoiled and you'll stay that way. Your daddy's gonna be wrapped around your finger. You just wait. <laughs> okay. All right, L. That's the, that's the end of this recording, L. You'll be seeing more of this person in your life, but this recording ends here. We'll see you at the hospital. It's your mama, L. She's finally <laughs> awake. And then look at what she's doing. I'm hungry. This is all she do. This is what you just asked me for. All, all she ever do is eat. You want a hash brown, so I'm giving it to you. <laughs> you saying that's what she said in the stomach? Yeah, I can feel it. How do you know that's what she said? Like this. L, this is this is what your mama is saying about you on your day of birth. Right now it's like you want 3 p.m. and we got to leave here at about 7.30 to go and get ready to have you born. Anything you want to say to L when she come back and look back on this video while you cooking? I fed you well. That's it? In the beginning you didn't want to eat much at all so I didn't feed you. Now you want to eat very well so I'm feeding you well. That's yeah. right, L. You got. To, you're probably gonna love to eat. We're gonna help. In a few minutes, we're about to put your car seat in the car, and we're gonna get that footage too. What's happening, L? This is your mama putting in the car seat for the first time ever in the Tesla. Now, L, I bought this Tesla just for you because I told your mama this was gonna be. This is the safest car on the road. It self drives and all that right now. And when you become older, I'm going to give you this car because I'm going to get the Roadster because your dad is going to be young and spry when he's 55 when you like 16. So we're getting ready to install. He even went and got the car clean for you. I got the car clean for you. And I, and L, I had to tell you the story what happened with that because I was about to go up there mad. They like to mess up your car. But um, oh, we're going to put this in there because we're going to soon be on the way to have you delivered. So we'll show you the finished product. For you dads out there. I don't want y'all looking crazy when you're trying to do, put this car seat in. So let me see, show you how we got this set up. L, this is all for your safety. Everything we do, L, is for you. I just want you to know, this Tesla was all for you. And this car seat is all for you too. So here we go. You look in here. This is the latch type. So you bring the latch, just follow my hand down in here. You get enough give, you come underneath here, come across here just like that and you buckle but before you do all that it's got these shoulder shoulder locks that you put it into so you slide it up in there over here you slide it up in there and then you make sure you put this in there with the baby facing this way all right we done got you in here we got your little mirror so we can see what your little nosy butt gonna be doing. We just about ready for you to go. Ain't you ready? You ready for her to come out, mama? Yeah, y'all wore me out trying to put that car seat in. Sorry. It I'm ain't tired. easy. So I'm hot and I'm tired. <laughs> we'll get back to y'all when we get ready to pack up and go. Well, this is it, y'all. We're getting ready to go to the hospital to deliver baby L. It's 39 weeks. Crystal done drew balloons. Apparently she's ready to go. And honey, are you ready for a home invader before we get in this car? It's just been me and you for 11 years. It really has. Yeah. I guess um, I don't have a choice but to be ready right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Excited. Uh, I don't, you know, it's weird because I'm, I'm not scared. I'm not, you know, anxious or nervous or anything like that. About speak what's for to yourself. Come. Um, I'm just ready for the ride. <clears throat> L, we want you to be a good ride. You hear me? I'm talking to you right now while you in this belly. Because you're getting ready to come out in about three, four more hours. We need you to be a good ride. We're going to support you. We're going to give you love. We're going to try to build a lasting relationship with you where we're almost connected. Permanently. And sometimes people have children. There's no relationship between the parent and the child. One thing that we want to make sure that we have is a lasting relationship with you, along with the legacy of the things we've tried to accumulate to pass down to you as we go. And do you feel anything about being in your 40s, having your first child? Do you feel anything like that? No, because early, I wasn't ready early, mm -hmm. earlier on. Um, yeah. I just feel like it was ready to take the next step. Right. So it took yeah. us long enough. Yeah. <laughs> 
We enjoyed but, 10 years, yeah, 11 years. Things happen in due time, and this is just a, just happened to be the time for us. So, yeah. yeah. So, L, we're ready for you. The next time you see us, we're going to be settling into our room, and that'll wrap up day one, going to the hospital to deliver you, L. I'm hoping for the best. Only thing I can say is, uh, please don't come out looking like the Cookie Monster because I got a grandma who is not scared to tell it like it is. She very old school. And I'm going to leave it at that. We'll see you in the hospital. We in here, Elle. We in your room. There's your mother. All laid up. Anything you want to say now? Please be uh, be gentle. <laughs> be gentle, Elle. Look what time it is. Look what time it is. I started my day at 6.45 and we just now, almost midnight, getting in the room, getting checked in. Yeah. And look at your little heart rate. Let me zoom in over there. That's you over there beating 149, 144, stuff like that. These are your quarters, Dale. This is where you're going to be born at. Right here at Duke. It's not the Hilton. Your daddy's going to be sleeping right there. And your mommy is ready to go. Mm -hmm. You ready to go, champ? I'm ready. Look at what they've done to her. Took all that blood from her. <laughs> L, make it worth it. Be a good baby. We'll see you in the morning.